Hey guys, my name is Brittany Hughes, you're watching MRC TV, and this is your reality check. If your name happens to be Bernie Sanders and you are a senator from Vermont, now would be a good time to turn up your hearing aid and listen. For more than seven years now, we've all had to live with the flaming dumpster fire known as Obamacare, which was supposed to magically endow all Americans with health coverage paid for by fairy money that floats out of the clouds. Well, now it's 2017, and according to a new study out from Gallup, 12% of Americans still don't have health coverage. Let's break that down. One in five Americans making less than $36,000 a year do not have health insurance. More than 13% of the black community is uninsured, so are about 30% of Hispanics. Now, young people like me, we're pretty screwed. Our uninsurance rate is still at about 20%. In fact, the number of people who don't have insurance has risen by about 3 million people in the last nine months. Gallup found that many Americans are actually choosing to pay the fine for not having coverage rather than cough up their lunch money for expensive crappy plans with impossibly high deductibles. Now according to Bernie and friends, all of these people should be dying left and right because they can't get to a doctor. But that's not happening. It never has. Now of course a lack of basic facts doesn't stop people like Washington State Senator Maria Cantwell from complaining that the GOP is killing everyone by attacking Medicaid. Because apparently Obamacare has left us all so broke, we can't even afford to buy a vowel. And that's your Reality Check America. Subscribe to our YouTube page, like us on Facebook and Twitter, and stay sane out there.